Hi, my name is Erin, and I'm here from uh, Nova Academy with our student alumni, Yan Kun, from the Model G20 Summit. So, Yan Kun, we just started with your name, but can you tell me where you're from and what country you represented at the Model G20? Yeah, hello, Erin. It's my honor to be here. And uh, I'm from Tianjin, China. It's one of the four municipalities of my country that locates very close to Beijing, which is the capital of China. And uh, I was the head of state of the delegation for Saudi Arabia during the Model G20. Oh, fantastic. Just out of curiosity, Yankun, it's 9.04 in the morning for myself. What time is it for you there? Yeah, it's 10.04 p.m. Oh, wow. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> well, thank you for taking your time uh, out of your night to speak with me. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate the, um, the opportunity for this interview as well. Absolutely. So we'll uh, we'll jump right in. So, um, what's fun? What's one fun fact about you, Yan Kun? Yeah, I think. Um, well, I really love to play sports uh, in my spare time, and uh, like all kinds of, uh, especially basketball. Um, but unfortunately, I never had a chance to play in a formal game, like between schools. Uh, I understand. Do you normally play with just your friends in that case? Yeah. Because uh, like I transferred schools uh, a lot, and I uh, went abroad. I went to Canada once, uh, and due to the court, uh, like the quarantine, the self quarantine at home, due to COVID nineteen, we didn't have a chance like to play to play the season. Uh, yeah, yes, it's very unfortunate. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you get some more no opportunities soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, um, what's something you're known for among your friends? Uh, well, I guess that first of all, I'm a positive and optimistic person that I don't easily find something like troublesome and very difficult that I try to give up only halfway through. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly, I think it's the, the word like easygoing and uh, outgoing because I really love to, um, to make new friends and I love very often in my life. I like to also to tell jokes to make others happy as well. And uh, lastly, uh, like I heard um, some of my friends said that uh, I, I do have the ability like to, to do all things, like capable of all things. There is a public saying in China right now uh, called hexagonal warrior. It means mm. a person can like handle everything uh, very well, perfectly. Mm. Uh, to be honest, yeah, like I don't want to describe myself as the above, but yeah, like just I, as I mentioned, I do hear from my friends comment on me like that. Ah, well, that's that is definitely a compliment. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very positive. Excellent. Well, happy to hear that. I'm sure that will serve you well for all the things that you want to do in life. So that's excellent. Now, what made you interested in climate change? Uh, well, it's a long story. So I fancy outdoor activities a lot um, because, like, when I was still a young boy, uh, my parents always took me out to the park, to the nature, to play. Then it's always my mother who like took me out to, to travel to different places uh, with my older sister because uh, my dad became extremely busy afterwards. So mm -hmm. I've discovered many amazing landscapes and uh, I, I felt it's so much fascinating to enjoy the nature. And uh, that's basically like how I got interested in environment protections in the first place. And uh, at about my sixth grade, I think, so in recent years, climate change, carbon emissions, and human activities that cause huge pollutions have becoming like the most popular topics. People uh, uh, like talk about like the center of attraction of the whole world. So therefore, I started uh, I started to research and read materials about those topics. I think about two years ago. Yeah. Ah, excellent. Now. Um just out of curiosity, do you find that a lot of your friends are also concerned about climate change? Or would you say in your age group, this is more of an up and coming challenge that you're talking about more these days? Or has it always been a concern? Well, I'd say like, it doesn't like, really seem to be a very concerning problem between my ages, uh, my age group. Uh, yeah. And uh, my friends don't usually talk about topics related to climate change like the global warming crisis um but we do have some like topics like academic topics in school to um to have some basic discussion about the topics and uh 
I, I do feel like my peers, they have the right sense about um, these topics, but they, they need more research and uh, they read more materials about the topics to like have uh, a full understanding of the topics. Perfect. Now, what made you hear about um, Model G20 Summit and what made you decide to register? Uh, it was actually my mom that saw a post from the WeChat official cons. Oh, and cool. uh, yeah, and she made contact with a teacher called Amy. Uh, I think ah. it, it, yeah, she represents the China office. Yeah, and uh, besides, I've taken classes of Canova for academic writing with um, Miss Darling before. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. So you were already familiar with us before. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. And uh, what made you decide to register? Um, I think it's still like my interest because okay. I, yeah, I've been focusing on topics related to uh, environmental protections and I've heard about carbon emissions a while ago from my dad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think the topic's fascinating itself. And uh, I've actually done a lot of research into it. Uh, I've studied like what governments from uh, many countries said about how we're going to take actions in the future mm -hmm. and I feel like they're they're really important because they decide like the quality of our future life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes definitely now what was your favorite part about the summit uh, well there are so many good memories but in short I think it's the precious opportunity like to further explain is that MG20 is an exciting and uh, well-built platform for, for us, for high school students around the world uh, to take part to discuss and solve the world concerned problems. And uh, we are free to express, to, to learn, to interact with others, to make corporations and to like really solve the problems here. Uh, so these things are really important for like our future development and future study as well. Mm. Yes, I absolutely agree too. It's so exciting to have uh, a group of different people from all over the world, as you said. Um, yeah. I'm sure there were certainly some, you know, differing opinions or perspectives that maybe you learned also. Yeah, that's where negotiation happens. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Um, do you feel, speaking of negotiation, um, do you feel there are any skills you improved during the summit? Yeah, definitely. Like I improved my leadership because I was the head of state and uh, my writing and presentation skills are like, mostly overall have been improved a lot, I think. Mm, yes, that's awesome. Was there one thing that, that surprised you about the summit? Yes. So some of the delegates seem to be pretty professional and uh, they're pretty well prepared and uh, I found they're familiar with the process like the MG20 procedure because mm. uh, this was my first time to to be here and uh they know abundant information on climate change um and uh like i can tell they have great researching skills moreover i found like their ways to express uh the profound ideas they shared during the meetings made me feel surprised like how like my peers can do these things and it's amazing yeah, some of the uh, delegates have gone on for a couple of years. I think one particular student had done maybe six <laughs> summits already, which, you oh. know, it's, it's, it's so funny to see yeah. that. Yeah. Every single year you see the same person, you're like, oh, you're back. <laughs> yeah. So. Now, um, you had mentioned earlier some of your ideas around climate change and your initial interest of, of getting more involved with that. Um, how have those maybe ideas or um, let's say even solutions, how have they changed uh, at the summit? Did any of them evolve or become different based on your discussions with other students? Uh, yes, I do. So like my former thoughts are, they're pretty basic and I, like, I didn't come up with any solution before uh, the summit because I was just reading the news, like reading the materials and getting to know information as possible. So I, uh, like, but those helped me a lot during the summit. I accumulated from past reading and searching that I come up with some ideas in my head. So this time through a lot of research again, I gathered loads of information, like new information and transformed them into specific ideas and solutions, uh, like tax row based. 
So it relates to my represented country, which is Saudi Arabia. Um, so the way I do it is like I prioritize the most urgent demands um, from my country in terms of the most pressing problems we have faced uh, in the past and we are facing uh, right now due to climate change so that I know in which direction I should like keep digging out more and to make conversations with my uh, like members, my teammates. Uh, so that that really helps me to like evolve my former methods and to improve our policies. Excellent. Now, um, as of after the summit um, and as of today, what's one policy change that you think would help resolve climate change? So I think this is an international action that I'd say it's developing renewable and green energy market to expand their uses, especially to encourage citizens to be aware of the, the benefits of using those energies can bring to the society, to the environment and themselves. And I think governments, they should subsidize the uses of the, their products because some of the products of renewable energies are really expensive. Some countries have made plans to design and build a new energy city, which can boost the economy and attracting international like corporations and attracting like foreign talents. Uh, and that's absolutely positive things to, uh, to, like, to boost the economy uh, after like, like recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, somehow like these correlates with uh, the necessary future green tourism development for the whole world. Like since tourism imposes huge negative impacts on climate change and it generates different kinds of pollutions. And during this model G20, I also like initiated uh, a, like a GSTAE, a project, which is an international agreement, uh, which focuses on like talking about the, the impacts that tourism has been brought to, to our environment and how we can like make it better in the future. Mm, that's great. Yeah, that definitely makes a lot of sense. Nice. Yeah. Now, if you could give a future Model G20 student any piece of advice, what would you tell them? Yeah, so I, I think first of all is that uh, you have to make sure that you're clear of the agendas and uh, that's really helpful for you to get prepared. And other than the basic things, I think it's just to like to be brave and be active. Uh, you need to try to be talkative, especially when it comes to your group's internal meetings and discussions. Like you can use that time wisely to like to share your thoughts, and uh, to you can also like seek opinions if you feel unsure about something you wrote. And uh, you need to uh, like actively looking for cooperations with other groups because opportunities don't come to you, right? And um, yeah, so you, you're encouraged to make new friends as well, like during the Model G20. So it'd be a uh, wonderful experience for you if you like really dedicate yourself into it. And uh, all in all, I think is to be confident and proud of yourself because I'm a, my, myself is a second uh, language user, like in terms of English. So like, don't feel nervous or ashamed if you can't speak English fluently, where you have you or if you have an accent, that's okay. And this is a chance for you to practice. So uh, I'd say it's just um, be, be yourself and uh, to show your real ability, yeah. Excellent, all great advice. Awesome, I really appreciate that. I'm sure that will help a lot of students in the future too. Um, yeah, thank you. Of course. Uh, well, I have one more question for you, Yang Kun. Um, this one is more about you, so we'll just switch back over. Um, tell me a little bit about maybe some college plans if you have them. Okay, um, so I indeed planned uh, uh, like much about myself. So I'm currently participating in other two contests. Uh, the one is called uh, CDB, which is China Thinks Big. And uh, I think it originated from the Harvard University. It's a project, uh, yeah. So the other one I'm, I am participating, like I'm, I am going to participate is the John Locke uh, writing com competition. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, like, and there are like a, a lot of activities that I need to do. And I have been like using my time and uh, like really a lot of efforts putting into it because activities really matter. And I try to like, um, to call upon my peers to uh, do, do do things together because um, I feel like it's right to like to involve like 
the energy, the power from all of us, and we can achieve more, like definitely. Mm, absolutely. And do you have maybe a, um, it's okay if you don't, but um, is, do you have maybe a dream job or a career that you hope to go into? Yeah, it's really hard to say like uh, a particular job, but yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. There's so many like, things. Ideal ultimate goal. Yeah, it's like very, very long goal, and uh, it's far to to reach. It's really hard to reach, and um, so I want to be a successful entrepreneur and uh, invest in youth education and uh, sports industry. Yeah, those are the two like major things. I, I feel like passionate about yeah wonderful well I hope you get there young Kun I'm sure you will <laughs> so best thank of luck you very and... much I'll, I'll try my yeah. best absolutely I know you will <laughs> well thank you thank again you. for your time I really appreciate it and uh, best of luck with your two other competitions um, and we hope to work with you again in the future yeah sure thank you thank you for your time as well thanks all right bye bye bye